I am anxious, I am intimidated, and I am freaking out. My friend is having a introduction wedding in a week's time and I have to make my dress myself. I am not a fashion designer nor am I a tailor, but I have a little bit of experience on how to sew because I learned how to a very long time ago. And a few things that I know how to make is hair bonnets, pillowcases, iru and buba, and I can perfectly mend any of my torn clothes perfectly. So now that my friend is having a wedding, I want to make something fancy, something that is O and B verified. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? So I have decided to challenge myself by making my first O and B dress. Here are a bunch of styles that I found on Instagram for my inspiration. So this, 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 and this. And this one is similar to what I want exactly, but mine will be slightly different. This is my sketch and it is a gown. It has a bustier top, a long pencil skirt, a three-quarter sleeves and a Queen Anne neckline. So yeah. Before I can actually bring the sketch to life, I need to first pattern draft. I'm watching a YouTube tutorial for drafting the pattern for the top half of the dress. These are the pattern pieces I need for the top half of the dress. And it took me almost four hours to draft. Can you believe that? Just, just the top half of, just the top half of the dress and it took me four hours. It's at this point that I realized that this project was going to be more time consuming than I expected. And if I want to make things a bit easier, I need to plan every steps accordingly. I need to cut these pattern pieces on, on the lining, the fabric, on the interfacing. Look at my fabric. So I decided to start taking the process one day at a time. So it is day two of this sewing project. Yesterday, I cut out the pattern pieces on the Ankara fabric and the lining. And today I have gone ahead to iron um, SD on each of these Ankara fabric. So let's get into the sewing phase. This is the sewing machine I'm going to be working with. It's an old hand crank sewing machine that I inherited from my grandparents. Although I made clothes on this sewing machine, I have never made a dress on it. So I'm going to make it happen today. And if any problem should arise, I hope I can be able to fix it. So let's do this. Before I can start sewing, I need to pin all the fabric pieces together. For the front part, I need to stitch the infused Ankara pieces together. Then I attach the net neckline to it. Then I sandwich it with the lining pieces. There is a lot of work to do, so let's get back to work. If you're from the west side, Cali, born and raised by from the town with the palm trees and good vibes You know the best vibes soaking up the sunshine And we hustle cause we tryna live a good life I'm driving down the coast, coast Homies in the back bumping loud You know, you know, we ain't got no worries This my home, my home. And I don't plan on leaving There ain't nothing better than the west side That's and right I'm like, Ooh, we, we on the map. This 
is what the front part is looking like I had a hard time joining this curvy part anyways I have attached the neckline pins to it it is now time to join it with the lining It is day three and this is what we have so far so i attached the lining this is it the front part is done meaning that i can now join the back pieces and connect it to the front <laughs> Come on, ah, ah, what is wrong with you? Ah, what is wrong with this thing? It is day four of this sewing project. Yesterday, I finished working on the top half of the dress and took a whole three days to get done. You know when you think that a style is simple and it shouldn't take more than 24 hours to get done simply because it's a gown? Well, that's not the case here because it is taking forever. Now that the top half of the dress is done, it is finally time to start making the skirt. It is day five of this sewing project and today's work will be to join the skirt to the top and then cut out the sleeve and join it so i'm hoping to finish this dress today yeah It is day six of this sewing project. This dress has given me premium strings. Yesterday, when I tried it on, the neckline looked stuffy, like it came all the way down 
under the bus. It was bad. It took me a while to come up with a solution. I had to loosen the top half into pieces to fix the neckline. I managed to make it better and right now I have to attach the sleeves to the dress. On a deep dark day in outer space I was tumbling round and round. When Mother Earth came calling me to put my feet back on the ground So I set my sights on the pale blue dove down to the deep blue sea All my friends were hollering out, waiting to rescue me And it's not right, and it's not wrong This is what the dress looks like now. So I hand tack sand beads on the neckline to give it a little bit of glamour. So this is what it Everything seemed to all come together in the last day of this project and I'm so grateful for that. I'm in a little bit of disbelief that I actually made this dress on a 1900s sewing machine. It's crazy. This is the remaining fabric for my gimme. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the wedding. Okay, so it is the day of the wedding and I am getting prepared. So get ready with me while I talk about my friend, the bride. So it goes like this. The fashion workshop that I said I learned sewing from is where I met her. She also came to learn sewing and she was a senior in the craft. A kindness and selfless care for people around her are what attracted me to her and we have been in touch ever since. It is a pleasure for me to be invited by such a lovely person to celebrate our union with her partner. Wedding. Right.